these are a couple of modal tunes, that are fiddle tunes that we took and put on the banjo. jam session and because we're taking classes we don't have a chance to just connect we're off in our classes and then people go home and classes happen at different days of the week so um, the potluck is a way for us to kind of connect in a way that's more of a group experience and, and a way for us to know each other too so um, six to eight and it's it is what it is it's a potluck so you never know what we're going to serve um, and then this is a tune there's a lot of people play a tune on here called Greasy Coat. This is called Old Greasy Coat, and it's uh, from the fiddling of West Virginia fiddler uh, Jimmy Triplett. And another, I like to take squirrely fiddle tunes that are usually only played on the fiddle. This is one of those. So how does this one go? Is that okay? potluck is that it's a benefit um, for the Vermont Food Bank so a portion of the funds raised it's it's by donation so you'll see the donation bucket out the basket out there where the food is it's by donation and if if you can make a donation great we appreciate it if you can't you're always welcome but uh, so this was a fingerstyle guitar class in the Merle Travis tradition um, which is very thumb driven 
more focused on um, uh, like a ragtime piano where your thumb is doing the bass and your fingers are doing the melody, uh, rather than sort of more of an arpeggiated style, which is common in other, other finger styles. And uh, Don had only a very slight, crude, if you don't mind me saying, Feel free. Uh, arpeggiated style, and so we had to really take it down to the, the real bare basics. And, uh, um, you want to just, uh, how do you want to get into this? Well, you say what you want. When we actually play, though, I just need to do the accompaniment and okay. you do the melody. Okay. Uh, we'll just do a little, uh, a little freight train here, which, uh, advantage was I already used a thumb pick, but that was about it. And I have to say, before we did it, I described to Mary, I said, I think this, taking this course is going to be the, like, as they say, learning to walk and chew gum at the same time. It turns out it's walking, chewing gum, doing an occasional dance step, and spitting off to the side, <laughs> all in really good rhythm. And I'm only about halfway there. So. I like that. I'm not sure. Is that an advertisement for the stuff? Boy, that doesn't sound <laughs> You know what? Can we delete the description that I wrote for the class. And, and let's, let's insert that. Spinning off to the side? Yeah. That's a good quote. That's a great quote. Like so this, uh, this song, which is in an odd tuning, well, it's not that odd, it's dad yet, which a lot, a lot of the stuff is in, uh, the Celtic East stuff, um, combines three favorite things. Celtic music, dad yet, and booze. Uh, because it's called, it's it's actually a, uh, uh, a J. Scott Skinner, J. Scott Skinner tune. He was a Scot, and uh, the Spey is a river uh, in Scotland. We never, we didn't get there, but um, we were in Scotland last May. But the Spey is where the Spey side, where there's a lot of single malt Scotch distilleries. I don't know what to say, but Walt Scott. 